today is a rough day. <laughs> this will turn- Dude, I am not stopping until I PB. I am actually not going to stop until I PB. I'm gonna go forever and ever. I am actually going to get a new Tepic Seed after today though, but I'm not stopping today until I PB. <laughs> the stream is infinite. That girl being there is indicative of the wrong seed, Oxy. She should not be standing there if I'm on my current seed. She should be two tiles lower, walk up, face right, and then walk up again. And that just tells me I'm on the right seed. Which means that I'm going to hit a perfect Tepig, because if I'm on the correct seed, which is the goal that I- like, I'm trying to manipulate for a seed that contains a perfect Tepig at the moment. However, since I am attempting to manipulate that, everything up until that Tepig should happen the exact same way every time. To ensure that not only does it have perfect IVs, but I need to do frame-perfect movement to the Tepig in order to ensure it has the right nature. So basically, if the NPCs aren't standing in the right positions... Dude, wait, can I view the NPCs here? Are the, MVP, are the NPCs in this cutscene set or random? Let's watch them. What do they do? I want to watch the NPCs in this cutscene. So that guy right there is facing up, right, down. She walked to the right and then faced down, and that old man is facing left and then up, and then left again. We're gonna watch for that next time if I end up resetting again, and we'll see if I can reset even earlier. Jack, I can't roll with it. It's not going to work. Like, I can tell you for certain it's not going to work. If that NPC is not standing in the right position, and she doesn't do the right things, I'm not gonna hit the right tepig. It's just how it works. Like, I physically cannot hit the right Tepig. There can't be a better seed. My Tepig that I am manipulating has perfect IVs. Alrighty, she's gonna do the thing she's supposed to do this time. Yes, she's in the right position, so she will turn right and then go up. And then this girl up here on the left is going to go up, and then halfway up the stairs, she'll go up again. And there we go. There's my seed. I haven't done all the calcs to know for sure if perfect is required in absolutely every stat. I know you probably... I mean, there might be some benefit to actually getting, like, a worse speed IV so that you're always slower than... Lollipop's... Charon's Lollipop, but... Other than that, like, I actually have not run the calcs to know if, like, lowering your defense IV or your special defense IV or your HP IV matter. Uh, you probably do not want to lower your attack or special attack IV. There are a couple ranges that just become worse if you do that. More than likely. But yeah, I haven't run the calcs to know for sure if uh, slightly lower IVs matter. 
you definitely don't want anything lower than like the 30s or maybe even like the high 20s, I guess. Like you, you want close to perfect in every stat, if it, nothing else, but. I've not run the calcs with anything other than a perfect epic. Alright, I've had enough. Let's do the movement. You can get a- okay. I assume that results in slightly lower stats craft, but it doesn't really end up mattering. I assume it matters more for the Drillbur, since the Drillbur actually gets to a high level. IVs matter more at higher levels, because the, the, like, the bigger differences come into play. And since Tepig never gets to a really high level, I could imagine that the stats don't matter as much. Like, it'd only be a difference of one or two points. Yeah, in black and white, the Tepig matters more. <laughs> because you use it for the whole run. You switch to Drover uh, after Berg, and at that point, Pig Knight is like level 21 or 22. No, you catch Drillbur at level 18, but remember, you keep using Pig Knight until the end of Berg's gym. Alright. I might continue this run anyway if I mess up the manipulation. However, I'm gonna be very upset if I have to, so let's just do it. By level 22, if you were missing like 4 IVs in a stat, like maybe you'd be missing 2 points of that. Because IVs are equivalent to that difference in stats at like by level 100 at the latest. I assume the full 31 can come into play slightly earlier than that? I don't know exactly how it implements stat differences from IVs, um, but it's over time. But yeah, I might try a different Tepig Seed, not only because this one, despite being pretty consistent, happens to share a clock, like the clock position with an incorrect seed, but also maybe I can have some uh, easier Pidov and Psyduck Minip movement, because I, it's, it's really hard on my seed. Because I have to like bonk the X attack intentionally for a certain amount of time, and... <laughs> There's a lot of turns near the spinner that are all like back to back. Yep, yeah, that's true, Craft. I remember doing some calcs where the difference in points didn't matter. It's by level 100 mezzo, but yeah, essentially. 
they come over time. But then you're then you're stuck always doing a slower fight, aren't you? Or maybe you just have to go into it with more health? If you go into it with more health, and then you can, like, rely on him knocking you into Blaze, you can abuse that, I guess, right? I might do MM tonight, but it depends how I'm feeling and how this goes. Is this Ember gonna kill? It did. I see craft. Okay. Alright, I've done the movement. Correct. Up to Flockacy Ranch. But I need to pick up the freaking X attack and it's gonna be horrible. Do you not use the fresh water to start the fight at full? I mean, I guess it depends how much health you're missing. I might do the 25 IV speed, I don't know. <laughs> when I look for the seed, I guess I'll have to make the decision. Because I guess the speed tie does have the potential to be faster, but it does also kill a lot of runs. Hey, Giga. It does indeed kill quite a few runs. That may have been too early. It wasn't, Psyduck. Alright, we gotta run! We gotta run! Finally! <laughs> I, I want like a seed where, or at least a strat to manipulate these encounters where I don't have to like time picking up, up that X attack. It makes it more difficult than it needs to be. If I can just mash within a, like a window and always hit it, that's fine. Nice. Maybe I should hit this thing twice. It's level 7, so it doesn't take that much damage. I should run the calc, how likely this is. I'm pretty sure it's above 50, or at least close to 50. Okay. I might do MM later. Uh, if I don't do MM today, I'm definitely doing it tomorrow. But I definitely wanted to do this today. Let's go! Charon, don't viciously murder me. I don't deserve it. Let's be friends. I meant to pick no. 
I did not say no to the plasma grunt. I don't know, Giga. I was planning to have it timed already, but I timed two other things instead. <laughs> oh, man. You know, that's interesting, Craft. What if I walk into the X attack? Or maybe I just walk, like, I try to pick it up instantly, and if I hear the bonk noise, I walk. Ooh, that's interesting. I might have to mess with that. That might actually fix it. I, like, I didn't even consider doing that. So, my thing is, I need to pick up the X attack slightly later than instantly. If I try to pick it up instantly, I'm always too early. So I could just walk a tile or two after it, maybe, and still be fine. Dang, Shade, you got me. You got me. I mean, I'm probably going to be changing seeds regardless since there's an incorrect seed that shares the, uh, the clock position, but... I, I can mess with that. Like, if I make an- if I feel like I made another mistake, maybe I'll do that. Or, like, maybe I'll just try it next run if there ends up- for some reason this one dies. Ooh, nice crit. So this run isn't quite as good as my first one of today. My first one of today got both the slaves, and they were both caught instantly. Padov popped out twice in this one. I should run the calc on how likely it is to catch Padov at one tackle. Psyduck I definitely can't hit twice, unless like I, I mean, it, it's likely enough after one that there's no point ever hitting Psyduck twice. Oh, I'm so getting an encounter. That was awful. I didn't, okay. No, that's not even remotely viable, dude, because the RNG that corresponds to battles is advancing every battle up until that point, dude. So, like, the like you'd have to have frame-perfect inputs in every battle up until Padov to do what you're suggesting. This is sub-five pace, believe it or not. I would hope it's sub-five pace. Hey, Seraphix!
I did get a run to Charon. Presumably. I mean, I don't I don't think it's possible to die to these trainers. Battle RNG uses samples from the DS mic. If that's insane, if that's true. <laughs> I'd never heard that before. If that is true, that is actually insane. It's gotta be silent. Alright, ready? Ready? Burn, 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 burn! Come on, Mike! Dang it, it didn't work! Crit! 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 Dang. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. I mean, I know that's not how it works, but... It was a good joke. I need to say it louder. I need to scream at the DS, dude. But in all honesty, Craft, like, I wonder... I'm not sure if you know this, but I'm very curious as to, like, what the game does with the sound samples it uses, and how it uses that to influence the RNG. Also, I might miss this range. Yay, I didn't. All right, Lily. Tackle, no workup. The heck? He didn't work up at all. We're past Charon on a good run. A minute behind, but I have the HM slave, so in fact, I'm actually quite ahead. I'm actually quite ahead right now. <laughs> My god, Luke. I can't, though, man. I can't. I can't do his voice. <laughs> But yeah, apparently, like, I don't... According to Kraft, he said the game might use sound samples. I, I assume he's correct, I don't know. Like, no, I, I think it's just the way he worded it. He didn't seem sure. Thank you for the bit, Seraphix. Yeah, Kraft said that the game might use, like, the DS mic, any sound it picks up from the DS mic, to influence <laughs> RNG, battle RNG. Ah, I can't click that right now. Even if I could click it, I can't read it right now, because my notes take up my entire monitor. Well, my notes in the chat take up my entire monitor.
Alright, we gotta run! Now hopefully it doesn't die to something else. Author Blues, thank you very much for the host. What am I doing? Side up? Good up. Craft, do you mind whispering that to me so that I can uh, click it later, perhaps? Because I'm worried that I will not get to click it for a little bit. But I definitely like to read up on it. I mean, you can't manipulate battle RNG unless you know where it is right now and what's going to happen. So, actually trying to manipulate battle RNG is still impractical. Because you'd need to know where it is at the time. As well as still doing your inputs frame perfectly. So, it's not gonna happen. That's so weird though. <laughs> I never would have imagined that the mic actually played into battle RNG. So, like, everything I'm saying to you guys now is likely affecting the results of this battle, which is ridiculous to, in concept. <laughs> Luigi, thank you so much for the 21 month resub. Endure, you s- He went for the double endure. He went for the double. Author Blues, if you're here, how was your stream? I hope it went well. I have never seen that Amalfi's auto agree. Streamer, do you ever just cover yourself in chocolate? Can't say I have. That's a new one. Oh my god. It's true, it's true. Crap. Alright, little girl. Or bre break breaking the mic would, would probably be the easier one. I'd probably opt for that one. Taking a break for food. What were you streaming, author? I I don't know what you've been doing recently. Believe it or not, I think last time I saw you alive, you were doing the CDI Zelda. I don't even remember which one, I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, craft! I had it, like, I actually am not sure at all, this might actually just be completely false, but I couldn't see any reason not to do it, so I've just been doing it on the... in case it's true. But is entering that little cutscene between Roxy and, uh, Papa Roxy, or whatever they call him, uh, is entering that from the center faster? Just because the camera moves, uh, laterally instead of diagonally? Like, it only moves... Like, it moves straight instead of diagonally to line up. It might actually just take the same speed, and if it has to move diagonally, it moves, like, faster or something. But I wasn't sure. Oh, okay. I've actually not heard of either of those. I don't know these games. <laughs> I'm not in blaze, so this likely will not kill. Screech! Should I be concerned? I should probably be concerned, but it shouldn't put me into kill range based on the 
damage this coffin can do. That is concerning, though. Um... That is really concerning. Okay. I'm in blaze, okay. I should die. Well, I'm normally in Blaze for that fight, so not being in Blaze, okay. Things happened. <laughs> My seraphics. Coughing does six to s this. Oh yeah, coughing cannot kill me. Does up to eight. So stick out, blaze, poison gas. Cool. Okay. Um. Oops. Super potion. Oh, thank you very much, Zeno. I think I lose time on the split. I think I do. But a small amount, doesn't matter. Okay, 43. 34. 26. Alright, that should be fine. That should be actually pretty good. Because this Venom Shock should knock me into Blaze, which doesn't even matter because this is a two hit without Blaze. You know, but the worst thing it could have done is go for Protect. Actually, the. Oh, okay. I do need Blaze, actually. But good thing I have it. What happens if you get poisoned there? Oh, I have another Petcha Berry. What happens if you get poisoned there and have no Petcha Berries left? I still save time. Also, thank you for whispering me that earlier, Craft. I don't think I said anything, but thank you. <coughs> thank you, Shade. Yeah, I'm just concerned about what happens after the fight if you get poisoned. It, it, it wouldn't affect the fight if you get poisoned on the last hit, but it would affect after the fight, because then you'd be poisoned. Yeah, I know it like, it leaves you at one health in this game. I'm in the wrong spot, whatever. The reason this spot is bad is because now Roxy has to walk around me. You want to be on the left side so that Roxy is on the right. I'm dumb. That's my fault. Wait, poison doesn't affect you at all outside battle? I thought it still... Oh, oh I'm mixing up Gen 4 and 5. Why do they change things on me? <laughs> Thank you for the host, Giga. Mixing up my poison mechanics across generations. <laughs> my bad. 
in the newer generations, don't doesn't just poison not affect you like straight up outside of battle? Or, yeah, so it, and that's this game, isn't it? Thank you very much for the 60 bits. man coming up to Drillber. I mean, I'm not too concerned about Drillber, because as long as I get something relatively fast, it doesn't matter. Like, I just, I just can't get, like, past... Like, fourth or fifth try is getting into dangerous territory, but I can still PB with that. I'm not at the point where I need, like, first or second yet. Okay, I won't flip. Your secret is safe. <laughs> Dude, I wish I was subbed to Ben. I would have his Twitch cop emote. fun thank you very much coming up to an important part of the run and hopefully it goes well hopefully I just get first try I'll take that all right hardest fight in the entire run dang died again I always die here, man. This joke is really old by this point. <laughs> no, we did not get the freeze. I never get- I've gotten the freeze on the ice punch once. Exactly once. And until I got it, I actually had no idea that the freeze on the ice punch was actually faster. It was pretty neat to find out. But freezing ice punch is only 10%, uh, it's not very likely. That being said, flinching is only 30%, and my last run I did, I flinched like every iron head ever. So, that's a thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm pretty committed to it, Flip. I'm like just as committed to like being all sad about every death in uh, Majora's Mask. Yeah, Ponyard gets the chance to thaw out, and if it thaws out, it attacks you. <laughs> but unless it does, the scene just ends. I am not in Blaze. Thanks, Koenig! No! Orange hat guy! No! Orange hat guy needs an emote. He gets in my way every run. Whatever, I didn't hit her. Alright. Orange hat guy? Oh! Yes! I swear, like most of the time, it's probably faster for me to fight her craft. I always end up in a stare down with her. Every run. Every run. <laughs> Usually not that long though, so maybe not, but I hate her. I hate her so much. <laughs> Like, is run manipping just running, like, to try and get them to turn and end going? Because, like, every- you'd have to, like, run around her to get her to face down, and I think she'd catch you, is the problem with her. Like, she always faces left, unless you're, like, directly below her. 
was what I experienced with her. I don't know if that's the case for everyone, or like all the time, or may maybe I'm wrong, but... You have to be like directly below her, and I think she just catches you? <laughs> oh no, Jabber! <laughs> that is unfortunate. What were you running? Was it any percent or a hundred percent? I don't know the number of the route. It's just the one in between Verbank and Flocka Seaflip. I think I'm one row too low, by the way. Yeah, I am. Right, I meant- I'm pretty sure you're supposed to pick no there. Uh, right? Actually, I don't know that choice. I think it's no. I think no is correct for that choice. Not in place. So, you do the thing. Even got a crit. Oh wow, my notes still describe the, the position I'm supposed to save in for my old Drillbur Seed. My new one moves left once, up once, but my old one was left once, up twice. I'm sorry you lost that run, Javert. That really is unfortunate, but it's okay, because one day that time will be bad to you. So Losing runs like that now, if it's going to happen, is the best time. Trust me. It'll be much worse later on when you're capable of even better times. Thanks, Kuju! Link, thank you so much for the five bits. Okay. So, Alright, what kind of RNG will I be having today? Perhaps a first try? Perhaps. Indeed! Okay, now just get in the ball and don't murder me! Please? Can we be friends? Let's be friends! Let's be friends. Oh my god. Oh my god! This run is godlike. We are the best of friends. Holy crap! It's been so long. I haven't gotten first try Drober since my PB. 
I have not gotten first try Drillbert since my PB. Oops. No, <laughs> the final obstacle on my way to PB is remembering the lucky egg. <laughs> Thank you, Zcon. It was the Mike Manip man. I just, I just said the right things. Let me tell you. This run is so good right now. <laughs> like, for what I'm used to getting. I'm used to getting, like, third or even fourth try Drillber. Although, it's been more consistent with this seed lately, so that definitely helps. This this seed definitely helped a lot with getting first try Drillber. The other seed, it was just not likely at all that I ever get first try Drillber. But this one now, I think three runs in a row, the Dust Cloud has shown up my first try. So, I'm liking this seed. I'm glad I went to the trouble to find it. It took a while, but it's it's been worth it so far. It's been way more consistent than the other one. Nice crits. I'm going to have to heal before Berg. That was a lot of damage. Pretty sure I... Sh should I heal before or during Berg? Probably before. I think, yeah, I'm definitely gonna heal before Berg. I don't see any benefit to healing during Berg. Like, I could, but I'm not gonna need Pig Knight afterwards, so, like, trying to conserve some health by, like, not healing until midway through the fight doesn't make much sense. If you know what I mean. Because, like, the only advantage, I think, of healing during the fight, because it's slower than just healing before the fight, is, like, maybe I end up with more health after the fight. But I'm not going to be using Pig Knight after, so it doesn't matter what health Pig Knight has at the end of the fight. As long as he's not dead. That kind of matters, but... Yeah, I'm going to heal just before talking to Berg. And I, uh, during the heal, I'll also switch Drillbird to the front position, which I'm supposed to do anyway. So it's not a completely wasted pause.
shot. Okay. Razor Leaf, 63. So I will Ember and then Flame Charge on Dwebble, I guess, since I have enough health to do so. So, higher roll. Flame Charge doesn't do that much. This should be fine. Smackdown. Did you actually fly? <laughs> that is actually insane if you did. That's ridiculous. Alright, 50 health on Pig Knight. Livani does up to 22 with cuts. I think it's gonna go for Razor Leaf though. Okay, I lose to a crit, but... Okay. I shouldn't say these things, because then they happen. <laughs> Especially now that I know that my gate or my uh, DS is listening to me. This is a really good run so far. We still have Charles though. I'm excited. But after Charles, I'll feel a little bit more confident. Yeah, Ryu, I got first try! <laughs> That freaking first try. You know, I also want to run challenge mode for this game, which um, I might end up doing if this run turns out like really, really good. But I don't, I don't know how likely that is. It all depends. It's like way too early to call. I shouldn't be saying things like that yet. But I do know that once I get like a decent time in this category, I might switch to challenge for a little bit and then come back, just while I'm getting better at the game. And challenge seems interesting, dude. Talk to the clown. Not a clown, it's a harlequin. I think that's how it's pronounced, but... Is that how it's pronounced? I've actually never said that word before. Escapee. Again. Twenty nine health. That is plenty, I probably won't- well, I, I shouldn't have to heal. Because the Blitzel can only do up to 15 if it max rolls. No, that's that's the wrong Blitzel. Actually, it can only do 14. 
I was looking at a different Blitzel range. There's two Blitzels. The first Blitzel can only do 14, actually. So, there you go. I might have to close my window again. <sighs> my neighbor's mowing his lawn! It is 6 p.m. Why couldn't you have done this earlier? Trying to close the window while playing the game. Oh dear. Wait, once I, once I get into the battle, I think that's like the best time to go for the window. Oh, dude, it's horn orange cat guy. Got it! We're good! We're good. It's still pretty loud, so you might still hear it, but the window's at least closed now, so it should be quieter. <laughs> oh, man. Seventeen health, which doesn't matter, because nothing can hit me from here on out. And I'm going to be healing shortly. I don't think I've forgotten anything so far. I can't think of anything I've forgotten. Normally really good runs, I just kill to me forgetting something. Pretty sure I'm good this time. <laughs> I think I've got it for once. I have the rare candy. My health is fine. I, actually, is there anything I... The experience share is on. Like, I don't think there's anything I could have forgotten besides those things. I'm pretty sure I'm fine. It, it is. Equip Lucky Egg is in all caps, it is red, it is, it is highlighted, it is bolded, it is all sorts of things, Jack. That's not for a little while anyway, though. That's, we don't get Lucky Egg for, like, 40 minutes. So... It's not until Skyla. So, heal through the PC, get the red shards, buy the potions and stuff, actually get into the Pokemon Center, please. Okay, so for this menu, we move Drillbur in, switch it with Pignite, Pidove in slot 2. Uh, cancel? Cancel the menu? Oh my god.
Alright, so on the first available opportunity, I will use the protein, although if I don't end up using it for the gym, I believe Kraft said that was fine. So... That's a thing. Dude, dude, why is the bike impossible? <laughs> Alright, here we go, though. No, Nuz. Doesn't he talk to you for, like, a while? Doesn't he, like, award you medals and stuff if you talk to him? That would be awful. That would be so bad. Alright! I have never had this Elekid not switch out. It is faster for him to not switch out, but he's going to. Whoa! He always switches out. First try, Jill Drill Burjack. First try. This is actually the best run I've ever had up until this point. I hope you guys are ready. Static yet. All right. Only one more Pokemon before the gym leader that I can get static done. Next trainer has Elekid and Blitzel, I believe. Elekid has static, Blitzel does not. This Blitzel also outspeeds me. But it doesn't do that much, especially if it goes per pursuit. Yep, I'm a minute behind because of getting the slaves, but having the slave saves two minutes. So I'm gonna save two coming up on Clay, as long as uh, a certain somebody named Charles goes, c like, well. <laughs> Alright, so I'm paralyzed, uh, we'll just... Reco like, we'll just heal that off and use the protein. But I don't need to heal. I'll just heal in the fight. Auto center, dude! It's between Flockacy and Verbank, but it, according to Nuz, it's just Route 20. Alright, so. Uh, no, not the rare candy. No, 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 no. Protein. And paralyze heal. Alright, Amolga. Be a friend. Do not static me, or crit me, or just be obnoxious like you generally are. Okay. I'm gonna have to heal on Flaffy, but that's fine. <laughs> oh no, I have to get rid of that too. Oh, 
I'm gonna heal again on Flaffy. Because I am in Zeb Strike a kill range. But now I am not. Alright. Unfortunate static on Amolga. Cost a little bit of time. That's fine. I saved a second! Whoa! Elisa, dude, is how I've been pronouncing it now. I'm not even sure if it's right, but... The way I pronounced it before was apparently wrong, so now I pronounce it Elisa. Alright, so... Uh, we just do rare candy on this pause. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. character is good in this game. Oops. Whatever. Just, just go. This is actually one of the few, like, main, like, male main characters, whatever, that I actually think is okay. Right, look at the two and a half minutes I can save on this segment just because I have the HM slaves. This this will be godlike if I get this time save. I really want it. I actually think Brandon is one of the worst. Brandon is, is atrocious. Absolutely awful. However, this segment has a lot of scary fights. This segment is scary because of all the fights in it. Next segment is scary because of all the spinners in it. But this segment does have a lot of scary fights. Like, even fights that shouldn't be threatening can be. This fight, in particular, I despise. Because this Watchhog doesn't die in one hit and has Hypnosis in Confuse Ray. <sighs> so hopefully it just, like, goes for Hypnosis and misses, or, like, I hit through Confusion. Either of those is fine. Used. I got through. Alright! Good. Do you know what I just discovered recently? And I've been- I've been doing menuing wrong in the late game, in this game. Because you can scroll through the menus in this game more quickly with R and L. I did not know that. I just saw somebody else doing it. I'm like, how do they do that? I didn't know that, Nuz! I don't know why. It only matters for like one or two menus in the late game, Nuz. But yeah, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> I've been using the stylus and just scrolling down instead of using R and L, which would be faster. I mean, it's not a big difference, but it's definitely faster, so... Alrighty, Charles, my man, you are gonna die. Ugh. 
This is my least favorite fight other than Charon in the whole run, just because of the number of ways I have lost it. Although it's usually off of a rock slide and miss, but I've lost it off of a lot of things other than that as well. Dang, air cutter. Good. It hit. It hit. That's all we need. Okay, now I need to heal, and I'm gonna be auto-centered, so... Just... just do the thing, and everything will be A-OK. -okay. He went for wide guard, really? I didn't need to heal. I'm pretty sure I was in kill range. It must not have been a guaranteed thing. That sh like, as far as I know, like, as far as the trainer AI is concerned, it'll go for the kill move if it's guaranteed, but if the kill move is a range, it has a chance to not go for it. So maybe Aqua Jet killing was a range? So it didn't go for it. If I was like, if it, if, if it wasn't a range and Aqua Jet was a guaranteed kill, it definitely would have gone for it. But I, it must have been a range. Okay, so I'm at full health, right? I am. So I, I don't need to heal. I already healed for rude. So we just do rude. One lower! No, I didn't fix it in time. <laughs> I know, right? Flip, like... She'll turn left from, like, three tiles away or something, still to the left, so I have to, like, start walking really early. I'm not at full i I'm not at half HP. I'm not at full HP? Wait, I- Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Okay, good. I'm dumb. I- I did get hit. You're right. Uh, maybe I'll just use a super potion? I'm using, like, a lot of hypers. Maybe I'll use a super. I think I'm just gonna use a super. No, you, you guys were right. I'm dumb. I I did get- I remember getting hit by that Aqua Jet. I don't know why, like, right afterwards I didn't think I'd gotten hit by it. I, I remember getting hit by it now. I just... Too many things in my mind. <laughs> okay. Come on, Rude. Give me a flinch or two. Dang. Work up. I'm gonna slash for this one. Okay. Uh, do I need to heal again? Swoobat. Yeah, I'm in kill range for Swoobat. I should heal. It's all my freaking hyper potions! split had to heal in the Charles and rude fight but it could be worse it can always be worse it can always be a lot worse <laughs> when I was learning this game uh, during evolution cutscenes I used to idly mash a and B and I would always cancel evolutions, so I'm pretty conditioned against that. <laughs> uh, either today or tomorrow, Subline. It's looking more like tomorrow, because I ended up streaming this game longer than I thought I was going to. Unless this run dies, but we don't, we don't want that. But either way, if this run PBs and gets like a sub 320, uh, I'm definitely going to be doing MM for the next couple days because my short-term goal is just to sub 320 in this game. And I really wanted to get it because Tyrant was hot in my heels, man. He's coming for me. Alright, come on, Orange. Orange hat guy. 
Oh my god, orange hat guy, I hate you. I mean, I had a path that would have worked, but... I swear. I hate orange hat guy. It's, uh, FFZ, Koenig. It's an FFZ emote. Okay, I'm gonna be getting Lucky Egg in like 25 minutes. Let's actually equip it. On to Miss. <laughs> on to Excadrill. <laughs> oh, also, um. I mean, a lot of you already know about my practice channel, but I'm gonna be probably racing Sample in Paper Mario just for fun later this week on, like, I think Friday? So... That is a thing. That is gonna be on my other channel, though. It's gonna be just for fun. I don't plan on running Paper Mario or anything, we just both wanted to play it. My practice channel is just Trev Practice. I'm not too secret about it anymore. I used to be pretty secretive about it. Oh, that's right! Bingo is normally Friday. What the heck? I must talk to Sample about this. That didn't even come up when we were planning it. What the heck? Maybe we'll reschedule. <laughs> Maybe we'll do Thursday or something. And yes, I would have, Tyrant. It wouldn't have changed a thing. Don't you start saying these things. Yeah, I know that, Tyrant, actually. Garfield told me a while ago. I just forgot about it when we were talking about it the first time, but I think I actually mentioned that last time. Because, yeah, the, uh... The creating save data text box is constant in terms of speed. Alright, switch in Psyduck. <gasps> I'm dead. Or am I? Okay, everything's okay. <laughs> I really need the flinch on Sand Slash now. You. Okay. We're okay. Everything is okay. <laughs> That's just a small bit of time loss. I can't believe I made that mistake, though. That's so dumb of me. That's so dumb of me. I always forget things. Why is is it like why do I have so much trouble remembering everything in this run? Just give me the flinch. How about it? Nice crit, but no flinch. It's gonna heal it now. I guess I hit it again. And switch in Padov. Oh my god, I'm not saving the full two and a half minutes, I'm only saving like one and three quarters of a minute? Dang. Whatever, whatever, that was my first major mistake. We're okay. But yeah, I made a mistake. It cost me a little bit.
still saved one and three quarters minutes. <laughs> Huge time save there, but we're okay. We're okay. How is girl one flame frame slower craft? No, his extra drill doesn't have dig. It has bulldoze. It, you know, it always goes for bulldoze. I've never seen it go for anything other than bulldoze. I don't. It doesn't have dig. Okay. If it used dig, you'd be like screwed, but it can't. Okay, this run's still decent. <laughs> I want the girl to be slower. Wait, it's Riolu, Riolu girl? If you're the girl? It's not Riolu kid? Why? Kid, kid applies to both genders. The girl loses a frame. Oh my god, she's slower. Yes. I mean, I'll still have to use her if Tyrant bops me, but I'm gonna protect myself with this run. This is the run that Tyrant won't be able to bop. Alright, let's have a perfect world tournament. So let's start with hitting the Dewat range. It's uh, always a good way to start. Or I can crit. I, I mean, I guess that guarantees it. Thanks, Link. I hope so, too. I, I need to focus. I can't make another mistake like the one I just made. I really don't want to. Ah, uh, Tranquil will use Detect. Dang. Oh my god, Link. <laughs> Why are you gonna do me like that? I refuse to use the girl. I refuse. This run is gonna be so good. The Tyrant won't even want to beat it. It's gonna be a 317. 316 is probably unrealistic, but it's, it's a 317. Ready? Ready? This Stoutland isn't gonna have Intimidate. It's, it's gonna have Sandrush. You better believe. It will not have Intimidate. Hey, nerds! No, it's no problem, nerds. Wait, wait, no, it didn't have Intimidate! Oh my god, well, whatever. That doesn't actually waste a lot of time using that home clause, because it's unlikely you one-hit it anyway. But I lost the opportunity to one-hit it. So, I mean, that probably was the same number of turns. I just assumed, dude, I don't. I need to focus. 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 It didn't have Intimidate in my home clause anyway. 
which probably didn't waste any time, but there was a 1 in 16 chance I could have saved time if I hit the Stoutland range with Iron Head. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Chorus, you will not have Sturdy on your Magneton, just to wrap it up. I mean, not only that, dude, but if you get intimidated, then you have to Hone Claws just get to get back to neutral attack, and then it's still a 1 in 16 chance that you kill Stoutland from neutral attack with Iron Head, so it's, I think it, my PB still had a 2 turn on Stoutland two iron heads, so that's still faster. It's actually still one turn less than what happened in my PB. I just lost the opportunity to save two turns. Instead, I only saved one turn. All right. No sturdy. You're gonna die. You didn't die. Fine. At least he didn't go f My accuracy went down. Oh my god. That is one accuracy drop! There was only one! Okay. I mean, I could have honed Claws after the accuracy drop, but it's still, with only one accuracy drop, it's very likely that at max, it like, I figured at worst it's only gonna waste, like, one turn. Because, I mean, one accuracy drop isn't that bad. It, it doesn't really affect it that much, so, like, maybe I'll miss once, it was my thinking there. Like, oh, I might, I might just miss once, or something. Which is fine, because it's the same amount of wasted turns as a Hone Claws. I'm like, okay, if I waste one turn, then it's the same thing as using Hone Claws, and if I don't waste a turn, it's even better. So, like, my thinking was, it's gonna be better or maybe equal if I miss once. If you, you, you can't advance in the game without winning the tournament, you have to win the tournament. To advance in the game. I mean, I can still save time on this split, but dear god, that, uh, that Magneton was invincible. He was actually unkillable. Excadrill is freaking blind. You get no experience from the tournament. Like, I, like that, that fight in the, the World Tournament was getting to the point where I was considering switching out to get rid of the accuracy drop. Like, if I got much closer to dying, I was gonna switch out to uh, get rid of that.
Yay, futon! Yeah, man. A little bit early. I mean, I wouldn't have lost that run to dying because of my lowered accuracy. Like I said, if I got any closer to dying, I was gonna switch out and just sacrifice Psyduck to get rid of the accuracy drop. But I didn't want to have to do that, because that's slow. <laughs> Missing five times in a row is also slow, but it's it's pretty unlikely. Seraphix, thank you very much for the 20 bits. Alright, Iron Head Croc. Stoutland, kill life. I got a two-turn fight with Charon. How about you? How about wait, that was a pun. Dear God, that was awful. I didn't I didn't mean it. This is normal mode, yes. <sighs> He's poison too. Freaking failure. Okay, I think he's just gonna Aqua Jet it? Okay. Whatever. Three turn fight with you. And Dua is wasting time being poisoned. Good job. I should have just killed him. <laughs> Wish I had Earthquake so I can kill him so he can stop wasting time with the poison. What's the chance of hitting with one accuracy drop? I actually want to know. Just, I only had one accuracy drop and I missed five times in a row. I want to know what my chance of hitting each of those was. I'm pretty sure it's in the 70s or 80s. It's favored that I still hit with only one accuracy drop. Iron Head normally has an 100% accuracy. Whoa! I missed. Okay, that's the first two spinners. Two more. Two more. At minus one. So I, okay, I had a 75% chance to hit and I missed five times in a row. I mean, that's, that's Pokemon. It happens. <laughs> it definitely happens. Thank you, Craft. <laughs> okay, I have plenty of Iron Heads, so I don't have to risk Rock Slide. Nah, Iron Head and uh, Earthquake are both 100%. They're our main damage in this run, generally.
Rock Slide is, uh, has a chance to miss. Rock Slide is the only inac- Well, actually, wait, we use Metal Claw in this run, too. Not often, but we do use Metal Claw once in this run. And that one has a chance to miss as well. Uh, but most of the moves we use cannot miss. Just Rock Slide is, like, the main thing you gotta watch out for. And even then, like, sometimes when we're using Rock Slide, we have Hone Claws up, which makes it 100%. That Deerling was in my way, Emily, of PB. It needed to go. Wait, I'll check that in a sec. I'm about to go buy a spinner. Actually, I'm gonna check that when I get through this cave. This cave, I need to focus on my movement for pretty much the entirety. I apologize. Give me a sec. Or wait, I have a cutscene. Spare and all, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Flip, thank you for the bits. Alright, give me a sec. That was not a good time. Spanel, thank you so much for the 10 month resub. Flip for the 15 bits, I appreciate it. Sorry, I had to get through that cave and I did, really didn't want to accidentally hit any trainers. It's very easy to accidentally hit a trainer in there if you mess up movement. Drubber was first try in this run. Thankfully, the run's not unbeatable because I lost 45 seconds on clay. And then... That amazing stuff happened back in World Tournament, which was just fantastic. So that was also a thing. Alright, ready? We're getting the Lucky Egg, and I'm gonna put it on. Cause I'm just, I'm just looking at my notes right now, and I see this, like, red bolded text. That bike was not worth it. <laughs> Should've put it on earlier. All right, ready? I'm gonna put on the Lucky Egg the second I get it. Done. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Brand new on Twitch, just came out. Just came out, Mr. 3DS. I didn't know that either, Nuz! What the heck? Nuz, why do you know so much about this game? You were a genius. I made all the hard cycles. The next cycle is pretty easy. It has a square for error. Okay. I have the lucky egg. I'm going to remember to X speed and hone claws. For some reason, I have forgotten to hone claws on two separate occasions, and it has resulted in me losing the fight. So we are just going to X speed and home class, and everything will be a okay. okay. 
Bone Claws? Rock Slap. Dude, look at this time save coming up. My PB finishes this segment at 148. It's just about to hit 146. <laughs> Here's some time lost, though. I wonder if it has anything to do with the, uh... Those misses in World Tournament. I wonder. He got the defense dr Okay, I crit. <laughs> Skyla getting that defense boost is actually really bad. <laughs> The reason being is, um, if you get- if she gets that defense boost, you have to hone claws, cause otherwise your next rock slide doesn't kill. And then it- she hyper potions cause it's low. So I would have had to hone claws without that crit. Pace is okay. Crits do ignore stat boosts, yes. Well, they don't ignore your boosts. Like, if you have higher attack, that's factored into critting, I believe. But defensive stat boosts are ignored. I think. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they do. Well, they definitely ignore defensive stat boosts. And I'm pretty sure they take into account offensive stat boosts. I learned this run, uh, it took me about a month of practice and I did it all offline. It was mostly just figuring out how to get, manipulate the correct seed and stuff, the correct Pokemon. That was the hard part of learning this game, and that took about a month. I did it during April, or March, I did it during March. So I actually, I started doing runs in April, it was March that I was learning. Okay, I say no to her, I believe? Oh yeah, <laughs> I wonder why hands game. That is I just took an extra step. Uh, I'm gonna be careful around this upcoming trainer. I don't know how this is gonna work. my health right now? Okay. Just get this Vibrava range. So I have the Lucky Egg on this time. Didn't forget that again. the elixir I have I, I I think I'm set to go this time pretty sure I'm set to go 
then this Iron Head will fail to kill Driftblim, but Musharna will finish it with Shadow Ball, and I even flinched Driftblim. Oh my god, that's great. Undella Hue. I've only been running this game since April, and it was my first Pokemon game that I've ever run. Before this one, I've never run a Pokemon game before. Alright, this fight is really, really easy if Hue doesn't t uh, turn one taunt, but he usually does turn one taunt. But if he doesn't turn one taunt, I get to Home Claws twice, which is better than once, for pretty obvious reasons. Oh, he detected! I get two! I get two! Oh, man. And then he detected again. Okay, so this earthquake is an 87.5% range. Very likely it dies. So that's just a, a 7 out of 8 -er. This, this part has been going well so far. Biggest t mistake so far were on Clay and Skyla. I lost like uh, a little bit less than a minute on both of those segments. But everything else has been pretty okay. I need to heal to 62 plus, which is fine because I took no damage in Hue. So I believe I have above 62 health. <laughs> yeah, and that's not my fault either, so. The time loss in the clay split was my fault, though. That one was my fault. I forgot to revive the HM slaves, so I didn't have them for the clay fight and had to revive them mid fight. Which ended up working out okay, but that was a that was my mistake, and then the Skyla time loss was not my fault. Okay, so don't do anything, because I don't have to. is so good. Like, not only is their battle theme good, but like when you're just talking to them. I love <laughs> this song as well. Flip, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Nice lag. Samurai, you went for Encore, you moron.
Why is Hugh useless? I was supposed to earthquake there. Doesn't matter. I actually saved time because he went for an attack, but I'm pretty sure that Iron Head would not have killed if you had not gone for an attack. I lost my place in my notes, so I just guessed. <laughs> but yeah, that was supposed to be Earthquake. So here I need to teach Surf, Fly, and Strength, as well as use the Rare Candy, I believe? I used R! So I use the rare can- no, dude, what did I just do? Rare candy and both the Carbos. Okay. My health is good. Oh, I was- no, my slaves are alive. My notes say to revive slaves if they're dead, but they're alive. So we're fine. <laughs> Bike movement, why? Why is it so hard? I haven't seen you since I ran into you in Castelia City an hour ago. Dang, long time no see. Wasn't it Lavatars? No way I want a Chikorita. Garbage Mon. No, hands gam. No such thing exists. I mean, you could do it if you wanted to, but there isn't a leaderboard for it. You can speedrun whatever you want, but it doesn't like necessarily mean there's a leaderboard for it. You can make one if you want, though. You can certainly make a leaderboard for something like that, but I don't think there's a lot of interest in something like that. Nice. No attack. The, the categories that gen people generally make leaderboards for, like, something there's a lot of interest in. There's not much, uh, interest in something like that. So I'm going to be level 44 for the triple battle, which is fine, except that Drudigan is a range, so I definitely don't want to be within that range, I guess? Like, I've missed that range before, and I'm sad when it happens. 
yeah. I really hope I don't miss it, because I'm pretty sure I just die if I do. Switch Excadrill to the second position. And Gam, it has over thirty. It has like forty runs, forty like separate runners. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure Dredigan is arranged, so hopefully it just dies. I'm really terrified of this Drudigan because it killed me once. Because I missed the range. Oops. Dang, Psyduck didn't get off the Tail Whip. And Pidove didn't get off the Growl, so just hit the range. Drudigan will kill me with revenge if it li lives, but it didn't, so we're okay. Everything is okay. And I have plenty of health for Drayden, too. Plenty of health for Drayden. How much health do you need for Drayden? Only 75, according to my notes. So we are, we are set to go. I should be saving time on this segment. Let's go. More time save. I am so ready. I need six iron heads and three earthquakes after this fight, so I just need to pay attention to what I have. Hmm. I think I have plenty of iron heads, but I'll double check when I use Swords Dance. I have nine Iron Heads, and I need to use three in this fight, so it'll put me right at six. We are good to go. So it turns out this Flygon barely has less speed than you. Because in the run where I forgot to put on Lucky Egg, I was only one level down for this fight, and the Flygon outsped me. It was a pretty sad time. Uh, I'm three minutes ahead. I'm golding this by like 40 seconds. This run is so good! I am owning ATZ! This is actually, like, one of the better runs I've done of this game. You know, despite uh, Iron Head missing five times in a row. Dude, this run better, PB. I wanna, I wanna know, like... <laughs> Everyone needs to see what happened at the World Tournament. I'm on it, Timper. I'm, I'm, I'm focused. I am focused. I will not throw this run. I, I do have a history of throwing runs in this game, but I will not. You know, focus. I'm just gonna chill and listen to some good music, and I'm gonna do a good speed run.
least I have some time to relax. I've actually been pretty stressed <laughs> with this run. God dang it! <laughs> I shouldn't be stressed. I started running this game to avoid the stress, man. I think it's only because I've just lost so many runs in a row. Like, that's my problem. I've lost so many runs in a row that were on PB Pace that now that I'm on PB Pace again, that's why I'm stressed. If that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be stressed. Oh, let's just enjoy the cutscene. Are they ice opalucid? Uh, the leaderboards for this game are separated um, based on language. There is a leaderboard for the English version of this game and for the Japanese version. So, the the leaderboard I just wanted to be on was for the the English version since it's the copy I had. Might as well. But yeah, if you go to the speedrun.com page for black and white, you can actually filter. Like, it has tabs, one for English and one for JP. That being said, the record for the English version of this game is better than for the JP version, but I'm not sure if it's just because the JP version isn't as optimized. Or what, but it, it's probably less optimized, if I had to guess. I'm not even sure if it uses Drillber. As far as I know, it is just text nerds. I don't know of any differences besides text. Dude, I'm gonna destroy Worcester. This gonna... kid sucks. I'm gonna annihilate him. <laughs> nah. Well, I mean, I'm... I might eventually be capable of world record, but not yet. Not yet. I st I was just kidding. <laughs> Don't take me seriously. Don't take me seriously. <laughs> okay, and scam go. <laughs> Okay, I still need to switch Excadrill back to the first position at some point. Normally you do that when you need to heal. But I have such high health that it's very unlikely I'll need to heal, so I guess I'll just pause and do it at some point. Earthquake. I have a bunch of extra Earthquakes. God! Why is it so impossible to talk to this Plasma Grunt quickly? Alright, ready? I'm gonna get the flinch on this wheezing. Or he's gonna explode, one of the two. Either one is fine. Flinch or explode? Okay, <laughs> we'll take that. <laughs> I am flinch person. I am a cheater and flinch every iron head ever. Oops. I'm gonna have like I, I'm already calling. I'm gonna have a perfect martial fight. Flinch everything. How much can the uh, Weavile do to me? 40? It can do up to 40 to me. Not even with a crit will it get me.
Will it even go for Ice Shard? It will. Why would Black 2 be with Embor? Like, what's the reason for that? It's barely different. Black and White use the Tepig evolutionary line for the whole run. And uh, black and white, uh, black is faster. And then for black and white too. I didn't switch. Drover. Frick. I'll just switch it. Er, no, I have to. I have to die. I have to die, or else I'm gonna level up 40 times. Dang! Another mistake. Stop making these dumb mistakes. I might have to revive that dove. I'd, I'd feel more secure if I had it. Should I? I'm like I'm debating whether or not to revive the dove. I don't think I need to. I probably won't. I mean, I'm still gonna switch. I still have to switch Excadrill to the uh, front position anyway. But maybe I'll do it when I have to menu regardless now? Because I'm, I'm gonna get a free heal after or before Getsis, so I have to do it before then. But maybe if I need to heal, I can do it then? I don't know, I need to figure it out before. I, I need to switch Excadrill back to the front position at some point. But there's no reason to pause just for it when I can, like, wait for an opportunity to do it, I guess. Now, like, I'm just seriously debating whether or not I need to bother reviving Padov. I do not think there's a good reason to. You would never end up needing both slaves in the Marlin fight. I only ever end up needing one. You know, Flip, I don't know. I know. I know. I should have done it right there. It's okay. There's, there's more. There's. I have to fly again soon enough anyway, I think. Or do I? I do. I do. I, I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay. I got this. <laughs> I will figure it out. After Plasma Forget 2, I need to fly. I'll do it then. You don't get a free heal before then either, so it won't be an issue. You don't get a free, a free heal up until Getsis, so I just, I just need to do it before then, and everything's okay. You do not fly after Colorus, you bike back slightly faster, apparently. Which I could imagine. Assuming you do good movement.
Alright, get this gold duck range. Seven out of eight. I don't think I've ever missed it. So I've, I'm going to miss it. I just jinxed it. Okay. <laughs> I was... That, that has happened multiple times. Where it's like a very likely range and I comment how likely it is and then I miss it. Let's just do Marlin with one slave. I'm pretty sure there is no issue there. Very often, I don't even end up needing to switch in a slave. So. At worst, I should only need one. Uh, however, if I do lose one, it's probably worth reviving one. Alright, give me the flinch! Give me the flinch! Oh, don't burn me! Okay. So now, Earthquake. So, I think I take the death here? Okay, so, there's my one slave. Wait, am I screwed? How's this gonna work? This does way too much health. Oh, thank god it used bounce! I think I was screwed if it didn't. And it missed! Alright, we're just- we're, we're, we're reviving Padov. Sure, mask of truth. <laughs> Okay, that was a, a little scary. I did not play that perfectly, but it ended up being okay. Yep, we'll do Nuz. I have to at this point. Maybe I'll do it when I use... No, I'm, I'm gonna be getting into battle before I use the Max Elixir, so I just have to now. That sucks. You having fun, Mask of Truth? Yes, Mask of Truth. Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. We are not old war buddies, unfortunately. Believe it or not, I'm afraid that is not the case. I can still 316 with that. This that blows my mind. I have made so many mistakes in this run. So many mistakes. Well, they weren't all big mistakes. They were generally small mistakes, but still, I've made a ton of mistakes. <laughs> it's so hard to play perfectly, but Okay. Um I I guess I'll just pause here and switch Excadrill to the front. Are we amigos? I'm afraid not, Mask of Truth. We cannot be amigos. Okay. And there's nothing else to do in this menu. Oh, thank you so much for the host. Holy crap. I'm not a big fan of that message, Shades of Flay. Is this, is this actually a raid message? <laughs> Can it not? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Pope, did you do this? Did you actually do this? <laughs> Gotta keep it PG, man. Your normal one is fine, but... I'll try to keep it PG in here, man. Okay. GT. 
turn. Oof. How are you doing, Pope? How was the stream? You came here at a good time, because I am on decent pace. I believe I just earthquake this. I do. Now I'm out of earthquakes. Do I need earthquake for the next fight? I do not. Go, go. Oh my god. Where's the swimmer gonna be? Really bad movement. Okay, this fight is all Iron Head, and then after this, I guess I'll max Ether. Hey, Guzmo! Also, how's staying at uh, Thomas's place, Pope? You having a good time, having lots of races? Saw the pretty neat stream you guys were doing the other night. Ooh, nice crits! That's normally a two hit. As long as Thomas is okay with that, I guess you're fine. Reco, this is the best run of this game I have ever done. It has a few mistakes in it, it's not perfect, but it's quite good for my skill level. Like, the mistakes I have been making are all pretty minor. I haven't made any gigantic ones. <laughs> One day it will be nice. Thanks, Reckle. I mean, I'm... My current... I mean, if you look at best possible time right now, it's only a minute behind record. That's not bad. Let's get my notes caught up. They're behind. So this is EQ, Iron Head. Both should die in one hit. The one thing I'm still scared of for this run is, um, Victory Road. Victory Road still scares me. It's got a ton of spinners, and it's not a good time. Thanks, Guzma! I'm glad you enjoy them. Hey, Mask of Truth! Just to bother you, Mask of Truth. I do it specifically to bother you. Hey, idiot! <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna iron head Golbat, and we're gonna hope Hugh actually does something to that Survivor. Or he could go, you know, for Encore and get poisoned! I'm gonna kill him. He's gonna die. I hate him so much. I hope you die to the poison. Ha! 
That's actually slow. <laughs> On, that's a 13 out of 16. I wanted to save an earthquake, so I went for the 13 of 16. Oh my god, and of course I miss it. I believe in you, Mask of Truth. You, you, you really should learn. <laughs> Nothing's gonna change. Alright. So this will leave me at five earthquakes. How do I route this? How do I route this with five earthquakes? I'm gonna use one in the double, one in the following double, and then... Okay, you know, I'm fine. I'm fine with five earthquakes. I should be fine. I think I even have one extra just in case, which is good. Mask of Truth, I'm gonna warn you, you will get banned before you ever get such a record. And I would recommend not going for it. Come on, Hugh. I believe in you. This can be a three-turn fight if Hugh just does what he needs to do. Because the girl trainer isn't faster ATZ. In fact, thanks to what Kraft told me, I now know the girl trainer is one frame slower than the male in this game. You lose one frame to picking the male. So girl isn't worth it. Alright, Hugh did what he's supposed to do on turn one. Keep going, Hugh. I believe in you. Just, just do the thing. Give me another Aqua Tail. Or a Revenge. Revenge is fine, too. Oh my god! Hugh might do it! Press 1 if you believe in Hugh. I expect zero ones. Alright, Hugh, hit it! Hit him! Yes! Nice on me. I didn't split. Good thing I added that split so that I could, you know, not press it. I'll add it manually if this PBs, which hopefully it does.
All right, so I already, I already moved Excadrill to the first position, so that we're good there. I have one slave alive, which is fine. I have plenty of health. Karen spends a really long time thinking there. I always think, like, I'm supposed to be doing something when he's thinking, because he just spends an hour. No Mask of Truth. I would take your dollar and do nothing. No, Marshmallow, I would take your $200 and do nothing. <laughs> well, actually, I would do the one-hour stream anyway. I would do it regardless of the $200, so that's pointless in practice. That is quite pointless in practice. Alright, ready? I'm gonna flinch this wheezing, or he's going to explode. Either one is fine. Either one is fine. I heard... the postman. I'll have to check that in a moment. <laughs> Give me a sec. I got the flinch! can't check that donation because I couldn't see it when it happened because <laughs> my notes are covering my whole screen <laughs> like the whole page so I'll check it as soon as I can which will be shortly actually because I have the sinking feeling I am about to be ambushed I don't I don't know where I get that feeling from but my instincts are telling me that there is an ambush waiting for me I don't know. You guys, you guys getting that feeling? I feel like, I feel like it. <laughs> oh no! I have been ambushed. Had no idea that was coming. Literally, never would have seen it. Forty-four. Thank you so much for the four dollars and forty-four cents. If you donate four dollars, I will thank you for giving me four dollars. Forty-four. Uh, I'm not supposed to have the dove here. It's not gonna die to my earthquake, so I need to wait for it to die. So I guess I'll swords dance so that it doesn't level up at all. That's fine. Okay, so I have a sword stance. That's fine, I guess. Just makes things easier. Oh my god, even you, ATC! Like, Tyrant literally comes in here and does the same thing. Oh, this wouldn't have happened if you just used the girl. And I'm like, well, you should use the girl. 
which which he does. So. Mist Whirlipede. What do I do in this situation? Garbodor's coming out. I believe I Earthquake if I miss Whirlipede. So that loses my extra Earthquake. Good thing I had an extra. Haha! <laughs> I do have an extra. I only need one more. And I have one more. Actually, actually, the girl loses one frame in this game. So gender absolutely matters. That one frame is important. Alright. Pipe maze. Let's not mess up pipe maze. I, it's not hard. It's just confusing for whatever reason. Okay, not that warp. We skip that warp. Go in this one. Now this warp. <laughs> Let's do a circle around the warp. All planned. That was intentional. Hey, board. Yeah, dude, I've been doing them for like a month. Okay, other than doing a circle around one of the warps, that pipe maze was fine. And I have enough PP for Zinzolin, so let's do that. Girl loses a frame. It actually loses no time to pick the girl. You do, you do not lose any time picking the girl. However, um, you lose a time during the movies where instead of Riolu Kid, you are Riolu Girl, apparently. And Girl is one more character than Kid, so you lose a frame when it writes out Kid. I guess. Or when it writes out Girl. I need two elixir. You use Excadrill for the rest of the run. I will not be using any other Pokemon from this point on. Wow, that was a really long pause. Excadrill dies. <laughs> uh, if you have a slave, you send that in and revive Excadrill. If you don't have a slave, your run is dead. Also, I might need to heal in the middle of this fight, but I didn't because there's a chance I might not have to. It depends what this Magnazone goes for, or if I get the flinch on this Magnazone. There's also the chance for that. I think I should heal. I'm gonna heal him, Behem. I was hoping I'd get a flinch or something, but I didn't get it. And could save the heal. Wow, call mine! Good turn.
I could have dodged that heal if I just gotten a flinch, but didn't get it. Okay, shift gear. Double shift gear. Double shift gear. I'm not surprised. He always does that. No, Reckle. Magneton does not uh, have Levitate, is what you're thinking of. Dude, we, we don't even- we never even got Embora, all right? We, we ditched Pignite for Drillber after the third gym. The starter is in the PC, we don't even need him. Useless. Yes, Magneton has either Sturdy or Magnet Pull. Uh, the ones in this fight have Sturdy, which is why I have to Iron Head them once. To break their Sturdy. What do you do if you get a Shiny? I keep going and ignore- I mean, I can't get a Shiny Drillbur. Getting a Shiny Drillbur is impossible, or a Shiny Tepig. Both of them are impossible, because the Tepig and the Drillbur I get are manipulated. They can't be anything different. They're always the same, so they will never be shiny. The only Pokemon in this entire run that can be shiny are the Crustle that I ran away from when entering Plasma Frigate 2 and Kyurem. Nothing else can be shiny. Everything else I encounter is manipulated. If I were to use a shiny Pokemon, um, it would just be slow because it would have the shiny animation every time it's sent out, so I would never manipulate a shiny Pokemon, and as far as encountering one in the wild, uh, it wouldn't mess up on anything other than just being slightly slower. It's just slightly slower. It would waste like a second, maybe, to encounter a shiny Pokemon. Alright, give me that flinch! Dang. How do you manipulate shinies? Um, I would probably just use the same thing I use to manipulate my current Pokemon, except I would specify search for shiny frames. And then it would point one out to me, and then I would do the same thing that I did to get my current Pokemon, and I would just encounter a shiny one instead. Like, you can... Like, in order to find my seeds and stuff, I used a, pro a program called uh, RNG Reporter. You can use that to find shiny Pokemon. Shiny Hunters used it back in 5th gen, I believe. Or, like, people... Cer certain ones did. Because you can also manipulate, like, a shiny perfect Pokemon. Uh, the only Pokemon I enc can encounter that are shiny, again, are the Crustle and Kyurem, and I would not waste time. I would not stop if one of them were shiny. I would run away or kill it. Got news. I don't care that much about shinies. I think they're cool, but I don't care that much at all. So if, if I were to encounter a shiny Kyurem this run, I would murder it. Because it's faster to do so and I want the experience. No, you can use RNG Reporter for console. Why, why wouldn't you be able to? It's for the actual game. It lets you find seeds for the actual game. Like, console. Me first, Iron Head flinch? Dang. One of these days. I have never encountered a shiny Pokemon in a run. I've only been running Pokemon for a month. And again, there are only two Pokemon that in this entire run that can be shiny. So, it's, it's not very likely I run into a shiny Pokemon. I thought that was only 6th gen and onwards, Nuz. Was it 5th gen and onwards? I know 6th gen and onwards are shiny locked. I thought 5th I thought gen wasn't. No, MM's not dead for me. I've been doing MM very often still. I'm gonna be doing MM tomorrow, and probably the day after. MM is still my main speed game, but I'm also running this. 
I'm just running more than one game now. I didn't think 5th gen was shiny locked. What about Kyurem? That list doesn't mention Kyurem. I mean, even if- imagine if Kyurem was shiny, I- I assume it's also shiny locked, but um... Even if it wasn't shiny locked, you can't catch it, even if it was shiny. During the Kyurem fight, Getsus has his like whole staff thing going on that doesn't let you catch it. You have to fight it and either- and defeat it. I'm gonna be pretty ahead here. There were like no mistakes in the Zinzalon and Getsis fight, except for like some minor movement things. But like nothing even remotely noteworthy. So I should save time. Well, Reckle, my friend Getsis here got something called the DNA Splicers, which lets him combine the Pokemon Kyurem with my buddy Reshiram here, and it makes this. So. There you go. <laughs> So maybe Kyurem is shiny locked, it's very possible. So really it's just the Crustle. <laughs> that Crustle man.
You know, I told myself not to hum on sh on stream because when I go back and listen to it, it just sounds so stupid. But this this game has good music, man. All right, Luke. See you later. I'm sorry about that. That is unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna be nearly five minutes ahead. That's how I'm doing, Nightler. I actually said that before you asked me how I am. But that is that is how I'm doing right now. I am I am five minutes ahead. That's how I'm doing. I'm like, I'm more like, uh, four and a little bit over a half, I think. Or maybe it's like four and a half. More like four and a half, actually. Putin, that's actually true. <laughs> if I do PB, if I get this 316 and I'm only behind record by a minute, I actually did lose over a minute to silly mistakes. I lost about two minutes to silly mistakes that were in my control this run. And I only lost like 40-ish. I, I lost like a minute to RNG and like, like two to execution. So... All right, <sighs> victory road, man. Victory road is kind of scary because it has a lot of spinners. I'm not a fan. And the first spinner is the worst one. This guy is awful. Oh my god. <gasps> I got quick spun. That's not even my fault. Dang. Alright, that one wasn't my fault. Dude. He didn't switch! He didn't switch turn one! He's never done that before, I just lost an earthquake to that. He's always switched turn one, okay. Um, so I just lost two earthquakes I should have. How am I gonna save them? Six earthquakes? Maybe I'll rock slide on the Durant? I could do that. I, I could rock slide on the Durant or something. Okay, well, that's the first spinner of the run, and he, he quick spun me. By the way, I find it infinitely amusing as a Zelda runner that when the spinner turns and then turns back, it's called quick spinning. But maybe that's just me. I was very amused. I am down an earthquake though, being down that earthquake kinda sucks. Like being only one earthquake down is okay, but being two down is a little bit harder to save. I think I have to swords dance on Bear Tick now. 
and then use Iron Heads for the remainder of the fight. I can do that. The last day to sign up for the tourney is the 25th. It starts the 26th. There are three more spinners in Victory Road. I would like to not hit any of them, preferably. <laughs> Dude, that weirds me out. That Shadow Ball is not very effective. I'm too used to 6th and 7th gen. Oh my god. <laughs> it's an any percent tournament for uh, Majora's Mask Duplo. It's on challenge.com slash mmany. You just need to make an account and sign up. Alright, spinner number two! We got buying. Two more. Two more. You know, if I could... Okay, here we go. Here's number one. And that girl up there is the last one. She can turn left. One more spinner, come on. Don't let me hit her, dude. Alright, I'm gonna rock slide this Durant instead of Earthquake it. To save an Earthquake. And then I forget what his second Pokemon is, but... it's it Oh, it's Ferrothorn. I can't... I have to Earthquake that. I can't do anything else. I have to Earthquake that. Okay, that's the last spinner. Only hit one in the entire run. Right at the end, though, and he quick spun. Sadness. So much sadness. Not every match will be streamed, but quite a few will. Oh, oh, you mean, okay, yeah. Every individual person has to stream their match. I meant, I thought you were talking about restreaming. Yeah. We're gonna be restreaming some of the matches. So I have to earthquake this. I have left, so I need. I need one, two, three. Wait, do I have enough? Wait, 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 wait. No, I do not have enough. I am one short. So I do have to figure out a way to save it. How much damage does Sock do here? Can't kill me. I could just flinch. There you go. There you go. Okay, so to save an Earthquake... Uh, no, I don't need to heal. To save an Earthquake, I'm gonna Swords Dance and Iron Head all three of this guy's Pokémon. Normally you just- you don't Swords Dance, you just Iron Head, Earthquake, Earthquake. But I need to Swords Dance if I'm gonna be use, using Iron Head instead of Earthquake, since Earthquake is a little bit stronger. And there are already ranges. So we'll Swords Dance on Bear Tick. Jet. Or does it? No, I'm confused, aren't I? Does it not have Aqua Jet? Why did I think it had Aqua Jet? I, like, just convinced myself it had Aqua Jet. Does it actually have Aqua Jet? Or am I mistaken? Okay, I only need to save one Earthquake, so I'm gonna try and conserve Iron Heads as well and Earthquake Golurk, but I'll Iron Head throw.
Dude, that sounds like my cooking, dude. I burn toast. Pretty good at it. Did I need to save an iron head? I have eight more. How many more do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Aqua Jet- uh, Bear Tick gets Aqua Jet as an egg move, I think. But I don't- I, I think- I don't know why I convinced myself that that Bear Tick had Aqua Jet. I'm pretty sure that one does not. But for some reason, in my head, I thought Aqua Jet. I- I'm pretty sure healing was completely unnecessary, and it does not have Aqua Jet <laughs> at all. And I'm just insane. Swagger. Thank you very much, Skazi. I'm doing quite all right with this run. Although I did hit a spinner in Victory Road, but it was the only spinner of the entire run. It was so sad. So I have one Earthquake left. That's for Marshall. And I need five Iron Heads in the Marshall fight. And I believe I have six at the moment, so I can use one here. You need to boost to be able to one-hit the Samurott. Why would I heal before Elite Four? I don't need to. Healing is slow, my good friend. I have a max elixir, that is all I need. However, I, I want to make it through the martial fight before I use the max elixir. That's the thing. That's why I'm trying to manage PP this way. You have enough PP to finish the run without healing. I just need to make it through the martial fight before I use the max elixir. Which I have enough to do. Hey, Doc! Alright. Martial fight can be very fast if I get some iron head flinches. Wait, are my sl Yeah, they're alive. I got a free heal. My slaves are alive. Alright, here we go. Martial fight is the scariest one of the entire Elite Four. Not even the champion is scarier, honestly. But the fight can go really, really well if I get some Iron Head flinches and be really fast. So, first Iron Head flinch is on throw. If I get it, I don't need to switch out, but if I do... If I don't get the Iron Head flinch, he's gonna slow me and I need to switch. See, Bulldoze slows me, so now I need to switch. We'll switch in the Dove, because I need Psyduck for the champion. Okay, Con Kelder, I need to flinch or I'm dead, and then I have to max Elixir. I, I still will win, I just need to max Revive, I mean. FLINCH! No! Okay. So this fight is basically going as poor as it can go. Sock can't kill me without a crit, but a flinch is still beneficial. So give me a rock slide flinch, please? No, of course not. Alright, worst possible martial fight. Gotta yell into my mic louder. <laughs> Let's 
Sun and Moon has a really good Elite Four theme, in my opinion. I think this one's better, but... Okay, I don't need to heal before this fight. Let's just do it. So, I am out of PP, but he leads with Fake Out, so we burn the Fake Out turn using the Max Elixir. He always leads with Fake Out unless he can kill you with something else, which he can't do. Nice crit. See, I'm really scared about this health. Like, I should go into Chantal, but I think she can kill me with a crit. If I do. Er, no she can. No she can, okay. I was a little scared there. <laughs> A little scared there, but even with a crit, she can't kill me. And I don't want to waste time reviving a slave. I just I hate not having a slave in the Elite Four. It scares me. <laughs> okay, 75. So... Chantal. I do need a slave for the champ, but I also want to heal before the champ. I don't want to have to heal beforehand, because I would rather go into the champ at full health. So we're just we're just doing it. My Excadrill has adamant nature, and it will every single run. Okay, so this Cofagragus can do up to 31 damage, so it doing that is not an issue. Now I just EQ. Sorry, you don't get to listen to the Elite Four music for a little while. Oh, wait a minute, I have to rock slide, uh, Drift Bloom. Can Drift Bloom kill me? With a crit, it can. Alright, if I miss rock slide, and then Drift Bloom crits me, this run is dead. Which is so incredibly unlikely, I'm not gonna bother. Dr like, rock slide missing is already unlikely enough. So, the place I will be healing, I will either be healing during Caitlyn if she gives me turn 1 Reflect, or I will be healing before the champion, one of the two. So Musharna will either yarn, yawn or reflect. And if it yawn or if it reflects, I'm gonna heal during this fight because I need to burn some turns. Reflect. So turn one reflect, we heal. And then we iron head everything. Because I'm at plus four. Oh, 
Alright, just the champion. Man, this run... With the spinner, I think this run will 317. I think I lost 316 at the spinner in Victory Road, but you never know. I'm gonna revive both the slaves since I- there's no way I'm going into Iris without a slave. You can end up not needing one, but you can also end up needing one. There's no way I'm going in without- with just Excadrill. Something can happen. Flamethrower can burn. I can get crit by Haxorus. So. I will revive both slaves to have a good level of backup in the case that something goes very wrong. How many max revives do I have? Two. Okay, we're using one. The worst possible thing that can happen during this fight is I set up Swords Dance against Hydreigon. It will go for either Surf or Flamethrower since they are the same base power and both super effective. We want Surf because Flamethrower has a chance to burn me, and that's really bad. We don't want that. We really, really don't want that. <laughs> sur surf, don't burn me. Okay, we're fine. It is very unlikely, but we're like really late in the run and it's still a scary thing that can happen, so I'm scared. Haxorus has a Focus Sash, we would like to flinch it. Didn't get it, but she wasted her turn Dragon Dancing. So that's okay. If, if she does anything other than attack there, it doesn't matter because she's gonna heal on the next turn. So even if she does use Dragon Dance and she's faster than me, it doesn't matter, she's gonna waste her turn healing and she doesn't have a Focus Sash anymore. Alright, we win. Can't lose anymore. So I wasted my time reviving the slaves, but... This fight can go wrong, so it was definitely worth it. Dude, this is a 317. It's a freaking 317. I lost 316 to the, the spinner. No! Oh yeah, Skazi, it would actually. Uh, with Before the Dragon Dance, Skazi, I forget what move that Haxorus has. That Haxorus can do 162 before the Dragon Dance, and I had like 170. So with the Dragon Dance, it can outright kill me. But it always heals, so it doesn't matter. It couldn't kill me before the Dragon Dance, but it could kill me with the Dragon Dance. But it always prioritizes healing, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that would make sense. That would be why my notes say it can do 160. Alright, so here's some time loss to best segment because of that freaking spinner, dude. This is a, a mid-high 317. 
finally PB'd, dude. Here we go, dude. 317... 40? How long does this take to fade out? 42? Is that second? What's Kraft's time? Wait a minute. Kraft has like a 317 or a 318. Kraft has a 318.42. That's second. <laughs> oh man. And I got easy mode. Because I freaking suck. Yes, dude, this feels so much better because I lost like three runs on PB pace in a row to me making a dumb mistake. It's so nice to finally like not make a really big dumb mistake and not lose PB to that dumb mistake. <laughs> this run does have first try drillber though, but um, it had plenty of mistakes. Like, I think from now on though, I have to take like second try drillber or better. I don't think I can take anything worse than second try now. <laughs> Which is still better than, um... Summer Best? I don't know what my Summer Best is, I'll check it. Uh, let me take a picture of the splits first, then we can check it. Because I want to tweet it. Thanks, guys! It's not super optimized. DF do- er, yeah, DF, uh, World Record does make a, well, like, a one-minute mistake. It hits an optional trainer it wasn't supposed to hit in Reversal Mountain. That's, like, its biggest mistake. Some of best is 313.16. However, however, the Charon Gold is inaccurate. So it's actually 314.19. Where's my internet? Hello? Wait. Did I disconnect? Am I still live? I just got a, a notification that I disconnected. Am I live? What the heck? Okay, that's so weird. <laughs> I was about to, like, freak out. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I got that notification. It's a, a little odd. I was looking back at my router to make sure nothing was wrong. <laughs> oh man. Thank you guys for all the congrats. I'm pretty happy that I finally got a run where I made less gigantic mistakes than normal. I still made a few, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy for once. Like, most of the mistakes I make lose me, like, several minutes. For once, I didn't make a mistake that cost me several minutes. Thanks, Flip. So I'm trying to take a picture of the splits, but the software is not working. It's disconnected from a uh, server or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I am not gonna click that anti-link. It'll destroy my eardrums. I'm pretty sure that's pretty loud. Yeah, I control and print screen. I can just- can't I just press print screen? Just... There. And then I can take a picture of it individually later. Oh man. 317. So wait, where did I lose time? I actually want to look over this real quick. 
So my beginning was pretty okay. I got the slaves, so I'm now running against splits that get the uh, the HM slaves. So I definitely want to do all runs with them from now on. Um, Elisa was whatever. How do you? Pr I, I don't care how you pronounce her name anymore. Oh, Alt plus print screen is for one program, really? Is it just whatever one is active? Okay, I did it. Um, but okay. So 18 there. 44 here because I forgot to revive my HM slaves before the clay fight. And then 26 here because I I may have missed five iron heads in a row. Potentially. <laughs> that was a good segment. 21 on Marlin because I fumbled around for a bit with reviving stuff and menuing. I, I messed up menuing on this split, basically, and had to kill off Padub, and... And then a minute and twelve on Iris, because I hit the freaking spinner! No! Okay. Alright, I deserve this. I want to listen to this song. This song's good. Yeah, the run's over.